Hi, we are the NUS Rover team from the National University of Singapore. We are a team of 30 students developing new opportunity, our first Mars rover. And this is our maiden attempt at URC. The project development is divided across eight subsystems, which are mobility, chassis, robot arm, power systems, communications, onboard computer, science payload, and base station. These subsystems were identified to optimize our engineering effort. Our mechanical team consists of three sub-teams, namely chassis, robotic arm, and mobility system. Our chassis focuses on integrating the mobility system, electricity system, and its electronics. Single layer of chassis was designed with modularity in mind, which allows exchangeable loads to be loaded for different missions and ensures good weight distribution. All of the components on the chassis are optimized materially to reduce weight, yet providing ample strength, such as utilizing 3mm thick carbon fiber base plate, carbon fiber tubes for both supporting rods and the camera mass. Our robotic arm consists of 6 degrees of freedom and a total working length of 1.2 meters. For 6 degrees of freedom, the team has decided to proceed with harmonic drive and also a direct drive system which eliminates other mechanical components such as belt or chain transmission system which improves the backlash and accuracy of the robotic arm during operation. Mobility system has adopted six-wheel rocker bogey system for the rover. Rocker bogey system allows stability by maintaining parallel chassis at any point in time at any given terrain. We have five designated power lines, first being 3.3 volts, 5 volts, 10 volts, 12 volts, and 24 volts. The emergency switch is for safety. Once it is pressed, the whole rover shut shuts down. We have another start switch button which powers up the onboard computers on the rover. The Jetson will be powered up first, followed by the rest of the onboard computer system, which would be the Pixar, two uh, Raspberry Pis, and followed by one RDM. The software team is responsible for developing the base station onboard computer and communication subsystems. We have adopted a modularized design for the computing that needs to be performed onboard for the various missions. We use a star network configuration of microcomputers such as the Raspberry Pis and VASs on board for the control of the rover subsystems. A primary computing unit is the NVIDIA Jetson TK1. We have also developed a base station application front-end on Linux using JavaScript which will be run remotely on a laptop to command the individual elements of the rover. Our base station is capable of communicating with the rover within a 2km range using long-range Wi-Fi. For the retrieval mission, we employ three Intel RealSense D435RG VD cameras that give us a 270 degree field of view of the surroundings for teleoperative control. Teleoperators can choose to use the depth data from the cameras to better estimate the environment such as height of rocks or ground inclinations to avoid paths that would cause mission failure. For the autonomous traversal mission, the depth class from the RGBD cameras are stitched together for mapping and path planning. We have built a robust robot state estimation system using GPS, gyros, IMU, and barometers to prevent covariance shifts and minimize localization failures. The science payload is subdivided into two segments, the sample extraction unit as well as the sample analysis unit. Samples are first loaded into the sample extraction unit for biomolecule extraction, after which the soils extract is transferred into the sample analysis unit to be assayed for various biomolecules. The sample extraction unit serves to extract and isolate the potential biomolecules from the soil substrate to minimize potential interference from the soil particles. 